ಹಿಜಾಬ್ ಅದು ವಾಪಸ್ ತಗೊಂಡ್ಬಿಡ್ತೀವಿ ಈಗ ಏನ್ ಹಿಜಾಬ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಈಗ ಹಿಜಾಬ್ ಹಾಕೊಂಡು ಹೋಗ್ಬೋದು ಈಗ ಗೊತ್ತಾಯ್ತಾ ಹಾ ಆದೇಶ ವಾಪಸ್ ತಗೊಳ್ಳಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದೀನಿ ನಾನು ಈಗ ಡ್ರೆಸ್ ಹಾಕೊಳ್ಳೋದು ಊಟ ಮಾಡೋದು ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಸೇರೋದು ನಾನು ಯಾಕೆ ನಿನ್ಗೆ ಅಡ್ಡಿ ಪಡಿಸ್ಲಿ ನೀವು ಯಾವ ಡ್ರೆಸ್ ಹಾಕತಿ ಹಾಕೊಳಪ್ಪ ನೀವು ಯಾವ ಊಟ ಮಾಡ್ತೀಯ ಮಾಡು ನನಗೆ ಯಾಕೆ ನಾನು ಊಟ ಮಾಡೋದು ನಾ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ನೀವು ಊಟ ಮಾಡೋದು ನೀವು ಮಾಡ್ತೀಯ ಅದು ನಿಮ್ಮ ಹಕ್ಕು ನಾನು ನನ್ನ The Karnataka Chief Minister Sidramaiah announced that the restrictions on wearing a hijab in educational institutions will be lifted in the state. He said that the choice of wearing a dress and eating is a personal choice and it doesn't affect anyone. This decision has received various opinions from the state. The opposition BJP has criticized it stating that it affects the inclusivity of an educational institution. But now let's talk to the actual state holders of this decision. the students and the teachers to know what is their opinion on this decision the chief minister said that so what is your opinion on that uh see uh, basically i feel uh, this is a personal choice if you want to wear it you can wear or yeah i leave it on the person's choice so that's all about i wanted to tell and apart from that yeah that would favor students i feel because few are coming from conservative families so they are bound with uh, certain uh, stuff so i think yeah so ma'am you know uh, the opposition says that wearing a hijab or any religious symbolic attire it affects the inclusivity of the school the educational institutions do you think as a teacher uh, when you are teaching if you see somebody in an any religious symbolic attire does it ever affect your profession or the way you teach or anything no it has never affected me at all to be very frank so it is a, a teacher's job is to you know educate people irrespective of the race or creed or from wherever they are coming so for me uh, the first priority is i treat them like my students i don't have to treat them with you know caste religion and all this so teacher do you think that uh, during your classes or in terms of your career does the students attire ever affect your teaching no it doesn't affect it doesn't affect in my entire career the outfit or whatever the student is wearing it doesn't affect the environment is not uh, been disturbed by it they have the rights to wear what they choose also ma'am what do you have to say about uh, chief ministers yesterday announcement that you know the hijab ban will be lifted yes uh, that's a good choice which has been made by the chief minister as our indian constitution also says that there is a right to freedom in article 14 and 19 it has been described very clearly so everyone has their own uh, right of choice to wear and to eat also so you know having a ban on wear and eat is not a right decision so as our chief minister is taking a good decision that step that they will be taking away the ban on the hijab wearing so i go, go ahead with this this is a right decision from our chief minister so as a student student do you think if your other classmates uh, are wearing a hijab or any religious symbolic attire does it do you think that it affects your learning experience or it has any effect on your classroom no of, of course not because i am a non muslim and in my class only there are about 5 people and rest almost 100 of 100 of them are muslims who wear hijab and niqabs i don't think that affects anybody because there are few people who doesn't wear niqabs and there are people who wear niqab i don't think there will be any differentiation in their learning in their learning techniques or it, it i don't think it interferes in their uh, uh, education system or something like that i just hope that whatever their soul or whatever they want to do let them do that if they want to wear that let them wear if they don't want to wear that we don't have to force them so it is their opinion what do they feel you have been wearing hijab uh, ever since you were coming to school yes i have been wearing hijab so has it ever affected your learning or your experience with teachers no it is not really affected my experience but it's something that makes me feel secure makes me feel happy and i want to do it so that is it's my personal opinion basically and what do you have to say about the yesterday's announcement that the hijab ban will be lifted uh basically this is something which is very critical and uh, it's basically their own choices people who want to wear hijab they are allowed to wear hijab and people who don't want to wear hijab can be without hijab so it depends on how the person feels about it if they really want to wear hijab they can if they don't want to then no force
this is all i think about it uh, do you think that wearing a hijab uh, you know disturbs the inclusivity of the educational institutions or your classrooms uh, no it, it's never been like that uh, we we don't get disturbed In, instead we feel secure that we have been uh, we get education with following our religion also and what do you have to say about yesterday's uh, government decision that uh, you know it is government decision it depends on the person if you want to wear it you can wear it you know it doesn't depend that someone can come and uh, go against the religion also so we should follow both we should go parallelly follow the government as well as religion it depends on the person if they want to wear it on so basically i don't think this problem with hijab because uh, neither it's creating problem in our studies nor it's affecting us basically uh, moreover we are having right to freedom and right to choice where uh, i feel uh, we, uh, we it's in, in, in our islam to wear hijab so basically we are comfortable with our hijab and i don't think uh, it should uh, kind of be banned or anything like that because it doesn't create uh, anything mass change or anything in our lives or in our studies basically uh, because uh, it should be promoted uh, like who are comfortable should be uh, given right to wear and who are not comfort they are comfortable in their own way so i don't think basically there should be any problem what is your opinion about yesterday's announcement by the chief minister as my personal opinion i would like to wear hijab cuz i have been brought up in the way but there are a few people who don't like wearing it they can take it off so i cannot be judgmental on that i really don't think that it is affecting our learning experience but in this college they are giving us freedom and they are just making us make a choice between our professional and our personal life and i support the uh, i support the words of the chief minister he has given and i respect his words and i may think so that he will come up with a certain new ideas so as an educationist what is your opinion about uh, yesterday's decision by the chief minister this was one of the poll promise of congress government that when it comes to power it will withdraw the that heinous act which was done by bjp government because they just did not divide people they divided the generations because the politi- politics is good but not in the campuses they tried polluting the mind of young children and that was a, one of the most heinous thing which was done and i'm glad that uh, it was a little late we were expecting it to happen a little early but still uh, late uh, but we welcome it and this is a very good move because there is no difference when it comes to whether the child wear hijab or not wear hijab it when it comes to performance sabka saaf sabka vikas sabka which was it is not by clothes or food or what cm uh, sidramaya said that it does not make any difference what food somebody eats or what clothes somebody wears it is pure the merit which defines whether children succeed in the la- in life or not we have to create that conducive environment by by creating a positive so uh, uh, conducive environment among the children in the campuses so that they can improve well the bjp has criticized this decision and they have said that this affects the inclusivity like if the students are wearing hijab it might affect the inclusivity of educational institution what is what do you have to say about that the problem is uh, bjp does not know what india is india is what uh, everybody celebrates in india is that unity in diversity we we are not french kind of secularism india secularism is a secularism which encompasses everybody and our religion is a personal faith for somebody and they are ready they are they, that is a fundamental right for somebody or anybody in this country to profess that religion and also practice that religion they have all the rights in case if they want to wear hijab and study there is no uh, there is no problem however we have to create our public spaces such that everybody no matter what they wear should be allowed and should be welcomed so that maximum children who are coming from that orthodox background also are encouraged to come to the campuses so that india progresses beti padhao beti padhao it is just beti bachao and beti padhao uh, it is just not a slogan they are good in sloganing but when it comes to action they only know one thing is by is dividing people creating animosity between the society rather they should work 
in the positive way by making sure that everybody progresses in the same fashion. Uh, so sir, in recent past we saw that many students are being discriminated based on their identity or religion. Like we had the news that a six year old child is, you know, teacher has slapped him in classroom in front of everybody because of his Muslim identity. A uh, few days ago we saw that Dalit students were forced to clean toilets, uh, septic tanks in Kolar. So what do you have to say about it and how can an educational institution actually promote secularity and uh, you know inclusivity irrespective of the religion or caste of the students? See this is a uh, problem which is not to be blamed. The government is not the only stakeholder in this. We don't have to blame only the government. It is a social, entire uh, society is responsible for bringing uh, one positive, inclusive society forward equality is a fundamental right it is enshrined in the constitution it is the basic structure of the constitution however the sad part is that discrimination is practiced in this country for almost more than 1000 2000 plus years and it is not easy to just uh, we wish away everything still there are situations where i think we all have to take this not only one incident rather there are many such issues which are happening every day it is happening and across the country it is happening it is just not in one village in Kolar or it is it is a reality which we have seen in the country and we all have to be sensitized towards it we have to make sure that this practices are are discouraged and we have to create an atmosphere in this country where anybody and everybody are equally respected and given an equal opportunity to succeed in life which is basic article 14 article 15 article 16 of the constitution is a, as a fundamental right for every individual in the country well as you could see the students and teachers are not really affected by the wearing of a religious attire in the educational institution it doesn't really affect their educational experience what is your opinion about the government's decision on revoking the hijab ban in the state? Do let us know in the comments below. This is Akshita Mehta reporting for Daily Salar Digital.